friends, I hope you're having an inspiring day. Welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to go through my Levi's denim collection and I'm really excited. I've been meaning to do this because I would consider myself an occasional recreational Levi's collector. I just love the history of Levi's jeans and the fact that you know they first started in the 1800s. I feel like they make denim really really well and they're some of my favorite jeans in my collection. So I figured that I would walk you guys through it just because what I've learned about Levi's is that there's a lot more to it than just seeing it off the rack. And I find that a good pair of denim is one that fits really well and one that you really and truly understand. And Levi's jeans can sometimes be a little complicated, so I figured I would walk you through my favorites, how they fit, what my recommendations are, and hopefully you can find one for yourself. All right, so by far my favorite pair of Levi's jeans are their 501 series, which were actually introduced in 1853, I believe. This is the kind of style that you're gonna find in vintage markets, although I will say that they've gotten a lot more expensive and not necessarily worth it picking up vintage. I have three pairs of Levi's 501 jeans. This is my favorite pair of Levi's denim. This is the uh, kind of acid washy looking light wash pair. I think a really great characteristic for 501s is that they're predominantly straight leg even if they're a little bit tapered. These are pretty much my go-to's here. The other thing about 501s is they will always have a button fly which is quite interesting. I didn't really like it at first but you kind of get used to buttoning it up. In terms of fit I would go for your regular size. I find that it fits just about where your navel is so or maybe a little bit below so kind of high-waisted but not too much and definitely a looser fit which makes them super comfortable. So this light wash here is the one that I probably go to the most often. It's a little bit cropped, which I like, but overall it's just the fit of jean that is my absolute favorite. And this is the one you've probably seen me wear throughout a ton of my outfit compilation videos. In the 501 series, I also have a pair of a little bit of a darker blue with a little bit of a faded patch work here and some rips. I like this because it kind of gives that distressed vintage look without obviously being vintage because I didn't get it vintage. I'll wear these ones here when I want a little bit of a darker wash or kind of want a distressed look, but again, very similar style to my other 501s in that they are a little bit cropped on the ankles, looser fit, kind of a high waist, and just overall a very comfy pair of jeans. Another thing to note about Levi's jeans is that some of them will have this leather patch here, uh, kind of as its signet, but others will have this sort of cardboard looking uh, sign here and, and it's all sewn on to the back of your jeans. I'm not really sure why some are leather and some aren't. I thought it was because some were more premium than others, but I was corrected by a Levi's staff member that it wasn't the case. If you know the answer to this, let me know. Most of the vintage jeans you'll find will be leather because Levi's only made them with leather backings in the past. I personally like to look for the ones that have leather backings. I just feel like it's a little bit more luxurious and I feel like it'll wear nicer than the paper cardboard backings uh, on some other jeans. I've noticed that a lot of outlets carry the ones with the paper backing and you'll find these uh, leather ones at upscale retailers for us here in Canada, ones like Hudson's Bay. But that's just my personal preference. I don't think that there's anything different in the actual denim itself. I might be wrong, but I just like the look of the leather backings a little bit more. Another little thing about Levi's signs at the back here is that it will actually denote what style of denim it is. So again, these were the 501s, and so it'll have like a little 501 here in the corner there. And my third pair of 501s is this kind of light wash black pair. Again very similar same pretty much style and type of jean and the type of fit you'll find that with most 501s and again 501s are kind of that collector piece the ones that you'll find in vintage stores and consignment markets but I personally just like the idea of collecting a pair of denim that's kind of last me throughout the years I've had these 501s the ones that I'm wearing for about three or four years now and these two I've had for about two years so I'm hoping to wear them in and they do get more comfortable as you wear them in. If you get 501s and they're a little bit uh, 
like more stiff it's totally okay it's really just because you need to wear it in and move around in your body so that it fits to your body like a glove this black right here is actually a skinny version I don't find that big of a difference except that it's a little bit tighter on my thighs but other than that it fits pretty much the same it has a button fly as well but again I just love the way 501s fit and just felt like I needed a pair in black all right, moving along to skinny jeans. Now there are two series of Levi's skinnies that I personally really like. The first one here are 7-Elevens, and I would say that 7-Elevens are mid-rise. So 7-Elevens are characterized as being mid-rise, so not quite high-rise. They sit, I would say, at or just below your navel. They are also a little bit of a stretchier denim, so unlike the 501s, they don't need a lot of wear in just because they've got a natural stretch to them, which makes them a great skinny pair of jeans. They are super tight from the waist down to the hips all the way down to the knees and then I would say they loosen up at the calves and at the ankles so they're not skin tight all the way down. This first pair here is one that I actually picked up from a winner's Marshall. The thing with uh, 7-Elevens as well is that they are not a button fly, they are a zipper fly. This one here is a lighter wash denim. This is I guess my favorite style or color of denim. As you can see, I have a, quite a few pairs like this. I will say that the 7-Elevens I picked up earlier in my Levi's collecting, just because I don't really like the mid-rise of the 7-Elevens, I prefer a much higher rise. I just find them more comfortable. What I really like about Levi's stretch denim, including the 7-Elevens, is that they are super comfortable and they also make your butt look really nice. I feel like they've got this little like, lifting action. I know, it might just be in my brain. And just to show you guys the difference, so this is the paper backing and again I find that if you pick up ones from um, Marshalls or Winners sometimes they'll have this paper backing especially the outlets as well and I don't mind them I just find that they don't wear as nicely as the leather ones and my second pair of Levi's 7-Elevens is this darker wash denim I don't have a lot of dark blue wash denim anymore one because I find that the color transfer is really uh, quite apparent on any of my white clothing. I haven't had that particularly happen to me with this particular pair, uh, but I have with some of my other darker wash denim, and I just like a lighter wash in general. But this one here is a nice navy, especially if you want to look a little bit more sophisticated and less casual. Also for this one, I sized up a bit, in Levi's, I find that I can wear anything from a 26 to a 27. 28 if I kind of want that boyfriend style jean. 25 is a little bit uncomfortable on the tummy, but 26 to 27 is my preferred. And I would say that this is definitely one of my favorite darker wash denim. It also has a little bit of distressing on the side here. Really subtle, really not in your face, but I like the little touch to make it look a little bit more worn in. And next up in skinny Levi's, Levi's is the Levi's 721s and so these ones here are actually high-waisted which is different from the 711s that are obviously mid-rise. I prefer this style much much more. I only have one pair here and I actually found this one at a Marshalls as well. Unfortunately they didn't have my size but I ended up trying the 29s so much much larger than my typical Levi's size and they kind of end up looking like skinny of boyfriend jeans, so what I would call flattering boyfriend jeans. So that's a little fun tip for you to customize the way that you buy your Levi's. I would just recommend really trying them on, seeing how they feel and how they fit. This one in particular, originally to me, looked like a boyfriend jean because it wasn't necessarily my size, but when I put it on, I found that it still had that really nice little bit more of a cinched waist action even though it was much bigger for me and because they were the skinny high rises which is naturally a stretchier type of denim it ended up being so comfortable and this pair is kind of like my throw on and go almost like sweatpants style of denim this one here also has a lot of distressing on it so again giving that super worn in almost distressed to the point of no return look but I don't have a lot of distressed denim and this one here I feel like is just a little bit more of a statement and like I said this one here is just super super comfortable just because I sized up quite a bit definitely going to be looking into more 721s 
721s in general are supposed to actually fit high rise and super skinny all the way down so that's what you can expect from one in your size but for me I was able to size up like three sizes and still have it fit and be really comfy. The last two pairs of Levi's denim are probably my newest Levi's denim and the first style here is called the wedgies. This is particularly the wedgie straight and by the name in and of itself you'll know that this pair of denim is supposed to give you a wedgie. Get it? Wedgie. Wedgies for wedgies. Surprisingly, I thought that these were going to be really uncomfortable and ride up in the frontal areas that it's not supposed to rise up in, but it's actually so comfortable. As you can tell by the name, the wedgies are high rise fit. It's got a looser straight leg to the bottom there. This is also a non stretch sort of denim. I would say it has a little bit more stretch than the 501s that have pretty much zero stretch, but they are much stiffer than the typical skinny jeans like the 711s and the 721s. Wedgies are also typically a button fly, but what I really like about this pair is that it really holds your bum really nicely, a lot nicer than the 501. So I would say that this is kind of like the 501 in the way that the legs are tapered and how the legs have a looser fit but they definitely have a much tighter much more lifting action when it comes to your bum and is definitely very high-waisted and of course for my one and only wedgie pair I decided to get them in a lighter wash similar to the 501s that I am wearing my go-to's just because that's my favorite style but you can find wedgies in a ton of varieties of colors. And the very last pair of Levi's denim that I've collected so far are the ribcage straights. So as you can tell by the name ribcage they are super super high waisted. I would say that even so much to almost come up to your bra maybe an inch or two below your bra and it's definitely a much more retro look. I had just noticed rib cages coming onto the scene very recently. You can tell even from the back that it is super, super high rise. My boyfriend would call them like chin jeans because he says that they go up to your chin. I am just naturally drawn to high waisted denim, so naturally had to try the rib cages. The rib cages are also a button fly, which is something to note. It might have been better, I feel like, if Levi's made them zipper just because they are so high rise. You have so many buttons to go through. But a little tip for any of your button fly denim is that if you can leave the bottom maybe one two or three buttoned up always and see if you can just shimmy it off without having to button all of the buttons every single time you take it on and off but nonetheless super comfortable and I will wear this either one when I'm wearing a crop top or have something that I really need to tuck in really high or two if I'm going for a more retro vintage look a super high-rise pair of straight leg pants will definitely do that for you and similar to the wedgies I feel like this is a newer innovation for Levi's but they've got this sort of lifting action just because this high-rise pair really gets up into your batouche and so I always feel like my bum looks really great in this pair of denim and as you would have guessed a lighter wash just because I personally like that this one also has a little bit of distressing in one of the knees I like intentional distressing just because I feel like it looks worn in without actually being so so just one or two rips with a bitter fraying is nice, but I don't like an overly distressed piece of denim. So this little patch in the knee here gives it just a little bit of a statement and makes it just feel a little bit different. And that is it for my Levi's collection. I hope that you guys learned something. I've had tons of questions about my Levi's collection and my Levi's pair of denim in the past. I also had a ton of questions and watched a ton of YouTube videos, at least the ones that I could find about Levi's before picking up the pairs for me. The main thing I would recommend is definitely go in and try them on. There's definitely a ton of styles that I haven't recommended, but these are just ones that fit for me and my body type. I get this question all the time, so I will share that I am about 5'6", five, 5'7". Five, I weigh anywhere between 120 to 125 pounds. My waist size is typically a 26 to a 27, but I normally gravitate towards a 26. And I normally wear anywhere between a size 4 to 6 in pants, normally a 4, 6 if I just want a much looser fit and I normally wear a size small. Anyhow, I hope that helped you guys. I hope you find a pair of Levi's that you love as well. Let me know in the comments below which of these styles were your favorite, if you own any Levi's denim, and if you have any questions for me. And if you're new to the Inspired family, thank you so much for giving this video a watch. We hope you'll join us for a bit longer and subscribe. But with that, I hope you have an inspiring rest of your day. Remember that kindness doesn't cost a thing, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!